Hey everybody, it's the founder of CartFab here, and today we're looking at another performance mods video. It'll show you specifically how to install a performance camshaft, billet lifters, lap the valves, install the valves, and valve springs on a performance engine built to race. I put this on a Chinese Baja Heat mini bike, and it goes really, really fast. So let's check out how I did it. The first thing we're looking at here are the lifters. The one on the right is a billet lifter. The one on the left is the stock lifter. These things are pushed up and down by the lobes on the camshaft, which indirectly or directly move the valves themselves. So um, if you're gonna get a performance uh, camshaft, make sure you look into getting lifters. I decided to go with built lifters because they're able to handle the extra spring pressure. So um, I'm using assembly lube. That's what you're gonna need to install these before you break your engine in. Assembly lube has special ingredients in it that keep the parts from wearing too fast before they mate together. And if you look closely, the lobes on the camshaft are touching the lifters there. Next is the performance camshaft. If you look here on the right versus the left, right is a performance cam, left is a standard. You look at the lobe and the lobe is shaped differently, which affects how high the valves go and how long they stay open. I have a list of all the performance cams that I think are good as a mild performance cam for your engine, whether that be a Briggs & Stratton, Honda, Predator 212. You line up the dots on the camshaft and the crank and you put a, I would recommend actually putting in a new seal here for the side cover and bolting everything down. So again, links in the description for all that. Torque your bolts down on your side cover and you're good to go. Next is uh, the valves. The valves are very, very important for your engine build. So once you have all your crank and cam, everything in there, you gotta work on uh, valves, retainers, and uh, choosing the right springs for your valves. I looked at the cam card on the specific cam that I have. So you might need to get the cam or look at the cam card first before you choose the right springs. Um, so with what I'm doing here is actually ground the ends of the valves here um, If you look on this engine since it is a flathead engine not an overhead valve engine The lifters touch directly to the valves themselves So you actually physically need to grind them to set your lash So uh, unlucky for me, but lucky for you if you have an overhead valve you actually don't need to grind them but you do need to um, lap the valves if you are doing a rebuild or if you have a new engine and you want to have the best compression possible. Uh, lapping the valves basically uses liquid sandpaper, valve grinding compound, links in the description for that, and um, uh, a little suction cup on the end of a stick, which is called a valve lapping tool, and you basically uh, stick it to the end of your valve and you rotate it back and forth, uh, pushing down, adding a little bit of pressure there, and you sand down the seats and the valve, and you wipe it clean. You want to make sure you wipe it until with a wet rag until there is nothing left on the rag. So you just wipe it and it stays white. Notice how, you know, even if I do wipe it a little bit, there's still stuff coming off right into the rag there. You can actually just wipe it as best you can, spray it down with some carb cleaner, and you're set. Then you put your valve into um, <coughs> some assembly lube and then you put it back into your engine, just like that. Next, we're gonna check our valve lash, which is basically checking the clearance between the end of the valve and whatever it's connected to. In this case, um, it's .006 for mine, which is perfect. That's what my cam card specified. Um, I have a description of all the different lashes that you would need um, for your specific engine in the description as well. So check that out, it's really important. So you don't have to ask me later and me say, oh, it's right in the description. So anyway, this is a valve spring compressor tool. Uh, you only need that for a flathead engine. You, you can do it by hand um, if you have um, an OHV engine, but basically put the retainer spring together, compress it, lift it up a little bit, pops right out, just like that. It's that simple. All right, so to wrap everything up, we've seen uh, performance camshafts, you probably should get a mild one for a boost overall, and how to put in valve springs, lap your valves, set valve lash. All of this is part of a performance build that I've got going on. So um, if you need any advice, feel free to comment below. Well, thanks for watching the video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you have any questions about how to do something on your engine, let me know in the comments below. Also, the last video was how to install a billet uh, flywheel. The next video is um, how to install or modify your compression ratio with your head gasket as well as indexing your spark plugs. So stay tuned for that. 
All the links are below for the playlist and all the parts. So if you have any questions about which one to get, they're all down there. Thanks.